Welcome to my GSPN Live. You're here with Robert Brown. And Jose Rodriguez. And we've got a great show for you on Monday. Um, we're going to start off with some baseball. Uh, we'd like to mention that this show, uh, like most of our shows, are brought to you by Garden and Grocer. So please go online to GardenGrocer.com and place you an order. Um, we're going to start off with our Florida High School baseball. We had some big games and some local games go on. So let's take us off. Well, it was pretty big. Uh, Holy Trinity took on Coco this past week. Uh, Holy Trinity took the W against Coco, of course. You know, a lot of big guys uh, from Holy Trinity that are rated uh, nationally and statewide as well. And one of the big names was uh, Jack Zakakix. Um It's a funny name, funny word, but it's a great guy and he's a funny guy as well. Now, with that being said, he pitched great. He pitched seven innings, struck out seven guys. Not only that, but he had help from his buddies in the lineup as well. A couple of guys that went in there and just went and raked. Um, Trinity, uh, another guy from Trinity, uh, Demez Ross, he went two for three with two RBIs, and then Zach uh, Fifo went two for four, three ribbies as well, and Charlie George also went two for three with two RBIs, so that helped the, you know, take all hope away from Coco. Yeah, and when you <laughs> score 13 runs in a game, it's going to be pretty hard to beat you. Exactly, you know, exactly. Their defense, you know, wasn't the greatest. Coco scored seven runs, but, you know, when you have that much offense. Yeah, it, it wasn't mostly uh, a pitching or a defensive game. It was mostly the high-level game offense. Yeah. Even though Jack threw six innings and struck out seven, he still allowed a couple of runs, of course, as you see the score ending 13-7. Uh, well, that's our, our game of the week, our, our main game last night. We had some local area games as well. Uh, we'd like to start off with Masters Academy versus Lake Highland Prep. Um, this was a close game. Yeah. You know, uh, I thought Lake Highland would have the edge, but Masters came out with a 10-9 victory and a very, very close game. Yeah, Masters Academy is another school that plays really well. Uh, Lake Highland is, as well. I'm not going to give credit to one school and not to the other one. They both play awesome, but again, it was a really close game. They both played at the same level, which has come to the uh, score, which is 10 to 9. Yeah. But then again, you know, Masters took the W, performing or outperforming, I should say, Lake Highland Prep to the last minute. Um, we go from a from a very closely contested matchup in that in that 10 to 9 score to a 15 to 1 thrashing that uh, that Haggerty put on to Evans. And it's not fair. Haggerty, you know, if, as you guys have been tuning in on our past shows, we've been doing the top 25 rankings in Central Florida for baseball on Tuesdays and Fridays. Yep. So Haggerty, as you can see through that, all those shows, they've been on our top.